to the sky, Oscar De La Hoya. I think maybe he was paying some attention to his mother. Yes, every single fight. During referee's instructions, De La Hoya looking skyward in honor of his mother, Teresa. To throw a left hook and missing with it. But he lands the left hook and momentarily stuns Camacho. De La Hoya saying to us, I want to attack from the get-go. I want to throw a hundred punches around. And he's attacking. Camacho, you could see, was stunned on the toe and he's stunned again. Camacho knocked down once in his career by Sergio Reyes back in Atlantic City, 1988. Great right hand lands for De La Hoya. He goes into... A power. Round one was an impulse, nothing pre-planned. He simply got back to the corner and said, I don't want a stool, I don't want to sit down. Left uppercut. De La Hoya wants to fight with fury. He said, no more chess matches with southpaws. I did too much of that with Whitaker. He doesn't want to be drawn into a tactical battle with Camacho. I believe it's their belief that Oscar will get tired in the second half or the third third of the fight if they can keep him busy. Well, they believe his punch output. A right hand lands for an uppercut, I should say, lands for De La Hoya. And that hurt Camacho. Against the chance to cut off Hector's forelock, that he can win the fight. Look for Camacho's jab. I think De La Hoya is always at his best when he remembers to punch to the body on full. Good straight left hand by Camacho again. Camacho getting much more aggressive in this round. by De La Hoya to punctuate round four. Four rounds in, and the battle has been joined by Straight right hand sets up a left hook for De La Hoya, and another. Straight right hand and a left hook land again for De La Hoya. Well, let me tell you, that hurt Camacho. Left foot, and he's standing too close. George, he's never wanted to commit to his punches because he doesn't want the incoming unless he's absolutely sure it won't be there. Knockout, he's not exactly a knockout puncher. Good gracious. Yeah, that's thunder. That is big stuff. The left hook was a monster. Good, good punch by Camacho. Best punch of the fight for Hector Camacho momentarily stops Deloy in his tracks. And he's been able to land flush with most of those. Uppercut, backs Camacho all the way back to the ropes. I can't believe it, but it's actually there. Left to the body, right cross inside. This is... Never been knocked out, and hey, let's give him some credit for a beard. He's taking big shots here tonight. Boy, he's taking some punches. The huge shot. Been in against big punchers since then, like Trinidad. There's Enough a hook. big left hand. Big left hand by De La Hoya. Good uppercut, he left uppercut. Great combination, uppercut hook by De La Hoya. By De La Hoya. Camacho Good looks straight left hand by. Yep, that was a great punch by Camacho, the straight left. De La Hoya. Yep, that's what he's going to do. He's going to work oh. the body and make Camacho keep those arms down. Camacho primarily is a backseat puncher. He wants the punch going away. Hope for at this point. At some point, he may think now to set it up on the jab and get this guy in the ladder round himself. You've heard Camacho's trainer, Pat Burns, asking for more punches, more intensity. Oh, that body punt hurt Camacho. It even made it... As Oscar De La Hoya continues to stop. Well, he fought Julio Cesar Chavez at the height of Chavez's career. Yeah, but not in and this Chavez kind of... Did... Just a bit. Uppercut slams into Camacho, and with the right hand, De La Hoya knocks him down. Second dime in Camacho's career that he's ever been on the canvas. Finally, Camacho got, got caught with so many punches, a fusilla... ...ever being knocked out record. De La Hoya just punishing Camacho to the body.
There should be a song called Run Camacho Run. Boy, it's hard to right guard up your face. Cut. Uppercuts have been tremendous for Deloya. Deloya has never knocked a fighter out past the tent. Camacho, as we told you before, has never been knocked out. And Oscar wants this so badly, he can taste it. to see if Oscar's still able to throw left hooks. And he can. He throws a left hook. He beat 20 guys named Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Mo, and, and one or two guys who are 40 or 50 and, go, and tell the world, I got an 80 and 4 record. I survived with, with Delaware. I want another there big fight. That'll make it even more one-sided on the scorecards. Now let's go up to Michael Buffer and find Ladies out and how gentlemen, one sided these scorecards the are. Budweiser scorecards. Chuck Jappa scores the belt 120 to 105. John Keane 120 to 106. And Nick Huntunkan scores at 118 to 108. For the winner, by unanimous decision and still WBC welterweight champion of the world.